his daughter Courtney in the final round and claimed an NHRA record 16th Mellow Yellow World Championship in Funny Car on Sunday at the NHRA Toyota Nationals at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Man, I'm, I'm freaked out. My mind's screwed up. Castro been nothing but good to me. Ford has been nothing but good to me. I want him to stand by him. But for me, it was, hey, with, without sponsors, you're done. And it put the fight back in me, and maybe I was a little lazy there for a while. But at the end of the day, Auto Club signed us. Trax uh, signed Courtney Robert with Auto Club for five years. And, and we got Mac Tool, we got Brand Source, I got JMI, I got some new sponsors coming. I'm excited. I don't like what the fans are showing me, Sweet 16. Now I don't have to go for 17. I don't. But it, but I'll tell you what, winning the championship, I may be an old guy, but I can drive a hot rod. And Jimmy Proc, unbelievable, hitting, swinging for the fence. But look at the guys around him, Ron Douglas. Mike Neff, uh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, Dean Antonelli, John Medlin, uh, Danny De Janeiro, and our Danny, Daniel Hood. Uh, if I miss somebody, I'm sorry, but God bless you. I know you got another round, but I ain't dead yet, and this is showing corporate America. Like Earnhardt said, I'll do the winning, and you do the selling. In winning the Pro Stock Motorcycle Race, Matt Smith joined force on the World Champions podium to celebrate his second career title. Viper Motorcycle Company, Redline Oil, Mac Tools, PJ1, Nitro Fish, all these guys that help us. IDG, Mark Stock says, bought me that trailer this year, you know, for us to come out here and run. Mellow Yellow, Toyota, thanks for having the event. NHRA, Tom, thank y'all all. My dad's number one and we're number one. Thank y'all. Antron Brown, the defending world champion in top fuel, moved to second in the point standings by powering his Maco Tools dragster to a win in the final round against Clay Milliken. Brown trails points leader Sean Langdon by 102 points heading into the final event. He knows it will take something special at the final event in Pomona to earn a second straight championship. Yeah, you know, we're hoping and we're praying, and the good Lord, you know, he's been blessed us, man. We had the jars out, and he sure is filling them right now, so anything's possible with Toyota. Can't thank him enough for sponsoring this race, and uh, we're just trying to go places, man, and uh, and we're getting it done. The Mark, Bryant, all of our Maco boys, Brad, I mean, they've been working hard, especially this weekend for tools for the calls. We know breast cancer affects everybody all across the world and, and the globe, and uh, just to give a little back means something really, really special, but it's great to win a Toyota race, and uh, it just feels so good, man, and uh, just awesome. Happy birthday, Mark Oswald, an old man, but it's all good, man. We're just having fun. All my kids, my wife's here, man. This is, we're still in it, Gary. We just got to take it one step at a time. We're loving this NHRA series right now. We're loving it. Pro Stock Shane Gray picked up his first win in more than two years and third of his career with a whole shot victory against V Games. The race to the finish for Pro Stock is tight. Jed Coughlin holds a 71 point lead over second place Jason Line. Mike Edwards is 80 points back in third, while Gray trails Coughlin by 84 points. You know, I didn't realize how hard they were to get. And when you go a long time without something, you appreciate the value of it. So <clears throat> they're very, they're a whole lot more difficult than I uh, imagined. <laughs> well, you've got one in your possession and it's a great time to celebrate. Congratulations, Shane. Thank you. I want to thank everybody that's put me in the position I'm in. Thank you. Now, his car is a little bit better, but you don't want to put yourself in that position of having the caution come out here and being lined up on the outside if they decide not to come get tires. Yeah, so he needs to go right here. Here's a chance. Oh, he's got it now. Wow. To the lead, Jeff Gordon. 21 to go. As the leader, Jeff Gordon, gets boxed in in a little bit of this traffic, he's coming to the white flag. And ready for the last lap in this race. Final circuit for Jeff Gordon. See, Boyer trying to take second spot away there. Boyer and Kenseth racing for the runner-up spot. And there's too much traffic ahead. The long dry spell is going to end. And Jeff Gordon is going to take the checkered flag in Martinsville.
Hey guys, Sports Bigger in View. It is Monday night, because the reason it's Monday night because I watched the game not too long ago, and I'll tell you more about it. So anywho, let's get down to NASCAR. Well, you just seen, or what you just heard, Jeff Gordon breaks a dr long dry spell out of mine, and uh, I knew people that were very, very happy <laughs> so all, over, all over Facebook and everything, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, but hey, good for him, out of mind. Uh, Matt Kansas, Jimmy Johnson is still tight. Uh, Jeff Gordon is now in third with that win, so I tell you, if he wins this thing, coming from 13th spot, that just shows very, very lucky that he got that 13th spot that happened that that that, that gave to him not too long ago. So I'm not saying it's a uh, it's a give to him from NASCAR, a, a favorite thing to ask from him from NASCAR. Yes, he did get kind of screwed, but uh, it's just that was a little m m messed up on their scheduling, so on their messed on their setups and everything. But yeah, Dale Jr. had a fairly decent race, but then uh, his car started to fade, so he was done. So he's pretty much out of the chase for now. So I don't think he's gonna get a title. Still waiting. Still waiting. <laughs> it's been too long. Uh, Anyway, and I, Antre, just seen, um, uh, uh, Antron Brown picked up the win, Clay Milliken couldn't become 100 diff different winner in top fields, so, so anywho, uh, Brown's back in the points, it's a, a top field, is you have to be decided in the last race, and, and uh, that's in, I think the first week of November, let me check it out, uh, that's in, yeah, in the second week of November, on the 10th. So yeah, gotta get tuned in, guys. Last race of the year for HRA. And uh then John Force, who can pass this guy? 16 funny car championships. Nobody's gonna ever pass him. He's the king. The king of funny cars. Nobody's gonna pass him. 16 championships. Who cannot pass that? In funny car. No one. He's the king. And in uh and in pro stock, it's still close there. Um, Jay Coughlin lost the finals to Shane Gray, which that Shane Gray is going to be uh, Eric and Andrew Stevens' t teammate next year as he's moved on to uh, Victor K. Nazi Racing. So, two-car team there. Hey, it's a good thing. So, I mean, more money sponsors. You, but that team didn't appear for uh, any races before the countdown. It would be f to just before they found a sponsor. So, the, they need it, and then, uh, but yeah, I mean it's between JJJ Coughlin, e Edwards, uh, Allen Johnson, Jason Lyon. It's a tie. It'll be it'll be decided in the finals. So top fuel and pro stock it'd be decided, but pro stock motorcycle it was Matt Smith won his second. So yeah, pretty much Jeff all on that. And then uh, WWE. Well, I watched uh, WWE peer review Hell in a Cell, aka No Mercy, and then. Uh, <laughs> Anywho, in the title matches, they were pretty, uh, you say so. The the main event wasn't not much as I expected it to be, but yeah, all the all the titles were, def well, I mean, except for one. Uh, uh, the World Heavyweight title was the only title that changed that night, and plus the Vegas WWE Championship. And John Cena got his 14th combined for WWE Championship title. So, so it means he's two away from Ric Flair, so... <laughs> But I don't like that, guys, because the World Heavyweight title is a separate title. And Josh, Cena only won, like, the the second time or the third time, I can't remember, somewhere in there. But, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the uh, Ric Flair's record is for that World Heavyweight Championship. That's what the record is. It's, it's, I think it's 14, because he won the WWE Championship... And that adds two on. I don't know why they, they made it that way. To me, that was a little messed up. But he is a World Heavyweight Champion, though. And, and the way the WWE uh, does that, both titles combined, I don't like that. I don't. I mean, they're both separate titles. I mean, we're not going back to the Undisputed Championship anymore. So, so I don't know. Yeah, but, yeah, but anyway, hell is... Anyway, on the main event, Hell in a Cell. Well, Shawn Michaels accidentally kicked Daniel Bryan. That cost him the title. So, Randy Orton got his title back. 
So we tile back and uh, Dan Bryan has to wait yet again. So expect and uh, it also heard some rumors that Stone Cold Steve Austin might make a return. I'm hoping. I'm waiting because after what Stephanie McMahon said about Triple H ruled the Attitude Era. <laughs> right. I think that's a clue there that Austin's going to come back because Austin's the one who ruled the Attitude Era. He's the one who saved the WWF in 98. So Austin was a real ruler of the Attitude Era. Yeah, Dwayne du 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 Rock Johnson was in there, but and, and, uh, and also so was Triple H. But Triple H was nowhere near Austin during that time. Not even close. He was just with the, de 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 the uh, good de de Generation X and, and the corporate ministry. So, I don't know how, where they got that from. Nice move, WWE. Nice move. Just forget your, just forget your own history. And, and forget who saved you in 1998 for going out of business at WCW. Way to go. So anyway, let's check on the Raw Raw results, because Raw is on right now, but that's okay, I'll watch it later. No big deal. Alright. Oh, whoops. It's right out here. Shoot. Okay. Raw Heavyweight Champion John Cena... I addressed the WWE Universe, and then Damien Sandow interrupted him. A.K.A. Aaron Stevens, if you didn't know who he, who he was. And then John Cena de 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 defeated Damien Sandow. And you're welcome. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, two more pages here. Big E Langston defeated the U.S. Champion Dean Ambrose by disqualification. Yeah, I think Big E Langston, Langston would have beaten Dean Ambrose last night. CM Punk de 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 defeated Ryback in a... I'm trying to read what match it was because it was a pick. Where is it? Okay, either it was false guy anywhere or it doesn't say. And Shawn Michaels apologized to Daniel, Daniel Bryan that then he got in the yes lock or 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 as I call it, crossface. Los Murdoz, Dordos, can't pronounce her name right, defeated 3MB. Divas champion AJ and Tamina defeated the Bella Twins. Kane defeated the Miz. And Kane was unmasked. So he does have the mask again. See more here. It's going pretty slow. Right. The uh, Real Americans defeated WWE Take Champions, Cody Rhodes, and, and Goldust. The Rhodes, the, the Rhodes brothers. Rhodes brothers. Or whatever. <laughs> You know who I mean. Now, Puerto Del Rio addressed World Heavyweight Champion John Cena, of course. Natalia defeated Samarain after she picked up her first victory last night, WWE, with Fondango. And the Big Show crushed Randy Orange WWE Championship <laughs> Quarantation. <laughs> I'm going to see on Kane unmasked. Let's see if they have a picture of it. Or I just might look, look later. Oh, Stephanie unmasked Kane. <laughs> hmm. 
It's like Damien Sin. I had John Cena in the, the crossface. <laughs> yeah, the big show ended. Uh, Randy Orton Championship still celebration, so to say. So yeah. So then the next one, Survivor Series match. I'm already predicting. Team Heyman versus Team Punk. And also maybe Team Corporation versus Team Brian. Don't know. I don't know. Those are my guess, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a WWE Championship match. I just wonder what happened to the team, the teams they set up. So, I don't know. So, anywho, the reason I'm doing this because Seattle pulled off a defensive victory, as I can say. Man, 14-9. Pathetic offensive line. It was bad. But glad we had held St. Louis out of the end zone tonight. They, they only got field goals and they, they won 14 and uh, Seattle won 14 9, but gosh, that was. Jeez! That was bad. One of the worst games I've ever seen Seattle play. So, but anywho, um, hopefully, I'm hoping they can do better on their next game. I need to see who their next opponent is. That was bad. Very bad. And the Dolphins lost to the Patriots, which was bad too. When they had a 17 3 lead and they choked, and the Patriots won by 10, 27 17. Okay. Check it out here. Tampa Bay. This week. Got to do good, Seattle. Even though Tampa Bay is losing games, but they need to... No, yeah, they just need to... Get it right because first off they were fumbling the ball and now their offensive line is collapsing. We need to get things together. We want to be a playoff team and we're in the Super Bowl. Yeah. So, anywho, yeah, it was a bad game for them today and hopefully, and hopefully they'll be doing better against Tampa Bay. So, and we'll, it will plus that they're back home too. So hopefully I'll give them some kind of an advantage. So, so anywho, yeah, um, basketball Blazers start this week. Um, I'll be watching him, and uh, I just hope I just hope we can all get, get together and just hopefully we get back in playoffs again. And uh, and of course ESPN, typical, they're all kissing Lebr Le uh, LeBron uh, Le LeBron James behind, like this like the same thing with they did him and Menzel and Kaepernick. And and, uh, and and what happened to them? Flopped. So I wonder if James is going to flop. Doubt it. Because you know the NBA is set up. <laughs> but we'll see. It's going to be a long season, just the first season of the NBA. But still, I'm in a football. The only time is when I get basketball is when football season is done. And that's it. So, say who? A span of football. College. The Ducks went to face the 13th ranked UCLA Bruins, pulled it out in the second half. But no team has beat us over 40 points yet. I'm happy now. So, and plus, Bama, well, they didn't put many points as, as, the, as we did over Tennessee. And then uh, LSU made a statement over uh, NC State. And now we move back to number two for for, for whipping out a uh, team on a uh, a uh, a ranked team as as what Florida State did to Clemson. So this so I mean that gives us a good boost to hand, hand to Stanford on Thursday. Uh, the 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 um, the uh, Ducks got a bye week this week, so hopefully that will be a good booster f for the Ducks. Um, Ben plus Stanford won a close game with Oregon State. I was watching that game, guys, and I was kind of hoping for Stanford to win because, I mean, that was uh, because if they did, that would make the Ducks even look good even more if 
if, if Oregon beats Stanford. And that will happen. I'm hoping it will happen. Because the Ducks were kind of fun with the ball a bit. We just got plain lucky. And we just capitalized the second half. We pulled it away. So hopefully so hopefully when we head to uh, be a farm in, at Stanford, we will pull it off. I got faith. We will we'll pull it off. The Ducks will pull it off. So, and plus Boy State got pummeled by BYU. Go figure. I think just Boy State's just kind of losing right now. So, say who, uh, but Missouri, boy, you actually thought that they had it in the bag. Overtime, laces were out, field goal missed. Simple enough. So, Missouri's dropped down from number five. So, I like expect. So, and plus LSU got a little cocky too in the first half against Furman. So, yeah, typical. <laughs> So, anywho, uh, games to watch this week, I'll tell you. Because I know the one I'll be watching is the uh, uh, ACC unbeaten team. So, Florida State and Miami. I'm rooting for Miami in that one. And plus, speaking of Miami, they, they almost lost to Wake Forest. They won by three. Okay. So, it's Wednesday. Now, Thursday game, Arizona... Stay at Washington State. That's that's a Pac-12 game. That's a late game. Oh, and Friday, I'm I might be well, I'm might be watching this one. USC at Oregon State. So that means that doesn't mean I'm actually rooting for Oregon State. Just get his own football college game to watch. So and plus Pac-12 rivals. You gotta watch your rivals because you never know what what's gonna do to your team if they're good. If they're gonna be a threat. Or it's going to be easy as cake. I mean, well, piece of cake, I should say. Okay, let's see whether see the matches up they got. Mississippi State at South Carolina might be pretty good. Robert game there in North Carolina and North Carolina State. Clemson at Virginia. I think Clemson take that one. Oh, hey, about for the Paul Bunyan Trophy, Michigan State, Michigan and Michigan State. That's on ABC at 12:30. Arizona's gonna be Cal. Cal's has been the bond theaters this year, along with Colorado. Here, who else? Auburn's at Arkansas, Tennessee, Missouri. Yeah, we'll see about that one. We'll see how that, that one shapes out. Same with Oklahoma and Texas Tech. I mean, Oklahoma State, Texas Tech. That's on at four on Fox. For my time. UCLA is going to win Colorado. That's dropped UCLA down 20 for that loss to Oregon. And there it is at five o'clock on ABC. Miami at Florida State. Five my time. And Boise State's at Colorado State. There you have it. And also this one we kind of get too. Nevada at F number 16, Fresno State. Which at Fresno State won overtime against uh, San Diego State. So, yeah. So you have it. Games to watch. I'm just need them off right there. So so after the Ducks and Stanford have a bye week, and so does Bama and LSU. I'm ready for it. Bring it on. Week 11. So. Say who, uh, other sports, well, poor Pendleton just got whooped by Hermiston. And their playoff game, I think, is this week. I think it's away, so, yeah. Hermiston, Hermiston, Hermiston had a, a lot of speed on the, I mean, their backs had a lot of speed. Their quarterback, their running back, one their, uh, receivers, I mean, it, I mean, it could have been worse if Hermiston didn't put in their JVs, so, but, yeah, I mean, our conference is just getting terrible. I just hope they change it. it. It sounds like they're not going to, but I really hope so. I mean, they need to. We we I need to get back. Hermiston needs need, need to go somewhere else. The robbery can still stay intact. It's just they need to go somewhere else. So, so guys, here's, here's my video game music, music choice of the week.
This one there, one of the classics, and one of the best games, well, the series, I should say, Mega Man. That was Bomb Man. The only favorite theme in, in that game I like. And plus, I'll be doing Mega Man games not too long in the future, so can't wait. So anyway, like I told you, the game's from next. I got last part of Season Mode to, 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 to do a, a Raw, and then we'll move on to SmackDown, and then the two other parts I want to show you. So, and, um, and then SmackDown First Raw 2007, and so forth. So, there you have it. So, uh, so yes, just think what's right, be smart. I just don't do anything dumb, just be. Don't text and drive, don't drink and drive, just don't. Don't drive with, with one hand on the wheel, just just think the right things you need to do. Just just think, okay? So, I guess there's a lot of these people, but um, well, plus I heard that there were some uh, shootings. I think there was one in, I uh, can't remember. It was at a junior high school, a school shooting that happened not long ago, and then, uh, then in Portland, um, uh, somebody found a uh, I think it was a handgun or a rifle in in, a, in a, a, somebody's backpack in a junior high. So, but how are these kids going to easily access this, these guns? Their parents just leave them out, leave them out, or either that they know the safe number. I think it's just sad how they just take it. I mean, to kids who are making fun of it, and and it's just sad for them to take care of it just to. Just the answer, just to kill him. I think it's dumb. So, yeah, I mean, and plus, one other big issue I want to bring up, but that didn't brought up last week because of this announcement after I did this. Well, New Jersey accepted gays. I'm fine with that. They can stay all over there, but Oregon is starting to give in. Guys, if uh, you're in states that don't allow gay marriage, be strong and vote them off. They're bugging you. They're giving. They're, 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 you are giving into them, and that's what they want. Like I said before, gay is not a race. A gay, gay is, is is a belief. They make it sound like a race. Race is by skin color or accent. It's not the way that it's said. Uh, not the way that they marry. I mean, well, marriage. Because because they are because they are trying to change the race term. And you're just getting into it. Think about it. Just think. Would you like to walk down the street and, and actually see two guys holding their hands in front of you, or uh, two women? Well, in friendship, maybe yes, but marriage. Come on, think about it. Just think. Making up, making, did they are making out in front of you? Would you that make you feel e uneasy? See, we are meant to have one, one man, one woman. That is real love. That's not. And plus, maybe their lifestyle is is not as perfect as yours. Theirs probably just as bad. And plus, not not too long ago, during a uh, that uh, shooting in, in, in Washington D.C., well, it was a kind of a well, well, kind of a standoff shooting. Anyway, not too long ago, well, well, this well, this happens to well, to other people too. Is that uh, this uh, girl who was 17 that was gay, and uh, she was trying to uh, get onto this 14-year-old, and. Um, and she had a restraining order against her, but she still went after her, and she and she went in prison. But her parents said that was fine. Okay. If the girls 14, 17, that's a difference. Now I can see now I can see if they're over 21 or 18, but really 14, and they say it's okay. Just it just tells us, guys, gays are destroying our world. 
and the other stuff too. Just gotta hang on and, and just hang tough. Okay? Don't vote them in. No matter how much they try to get you into it, don't do it. Just think about it. Would you like to marry somebody that was a young woman or man? Think about it. Think. So, you guys, take care.